G'day everyone. Today is day 26 of my personal 30 day health and fitness challenge. It's almost at the end. How did I go? What worked? What didn't? Let's find out. My goals were to do a small weights routine and a plank every single day. I was going to walk a minimum of 30 minutes Monday to Friday. Didn't have to do it on the weekend, just Monday to Friday. I was going to count my calories, make sure I stuck to a, a, a calorie limit and improve my eating. And I wanted to develop a better sleeping, waking, daily routine. So right about now, you're probably thinking, geez, Karen, you suck. <laughs> and at first glance, I would tend to agree with you. But then I stopped and I stepped back and I had a look at the things that did happen. The first thing I did was admit that I suck at challenges. A, a, a younger me probably would have thrived on a challenge like this. I definitely would have enjoyed the, the fitness aspect of the challenge of sticking to something, improving myself and seeing my progress along the way. But about 10 years ago, when I developed fibromyalgia, my whole life changed. And things like that are just too difficult these days. Physically, my health fluctuates on a day-to-day -day basis. I never know how I'm going to feel that day until I wake up in the morning and get out of bed. And that makes it really hard to commit to anything, to, to stick to a routine, to commit to going somewhere or doing anything. And because of this, I've also had to adjust mentally. I used to be the sort of person that was punctual, reliable. You could count on me to get things done. I'd have a job to do. I'd start it, I'd keep going until it was finished, and then I'd move on to the next thing. No worries. But these days, with my fibromyalgia, I can't stick to one thing very long at all. First of all, my attention span is just gone to pot. My attention span these days is, is quite short. I lose focus, my eyes get tired, my brain gets tired from thinking too much. And physically, I need to keep moving around and changing positions. So I can't keep doing one thing for too long. For example, if I'm digging weeds out of the lawn, I'll only do it for 10 minutes and then I'll have to get up and I'll go and do something that might be a, a standing job and I'll do that for 10 minutes and then I might have to go and do a different thing. So you see, my, my body needs to be constantly moving and changing position so that different parts are being used and the focus of movement isn't always stuck on the one part of the body. So physically unpredictable, mentally unreliable and attention span of a gnat, challenges aren't my thing. So I changed my mindset. I changed my brain from saying this was a 30-day a challenge and I decided to call it a 30-day focus. It was 30 days where I was going to focus my attention on the things that I wanted to improve and I was going to work at them each day and just do the very best that I could do each day. And by changing the word from a challenge to a focus, it relieved some of the pressure. With that pressure now gone, I could stop only seeing the things that I wasn't achieving and I could start seeing the things that I was achieving. And I've written them down because I've got the memory of a freaking goldfish these days, so I'm going to check my notes. I need notes. <laughs> so what did I do? I I increased my protein intake. That's a really big thing for me. I need to start eating more protein. Um, protein fills you up quicker, it lasts longer, it's good for your muscles, it's good for your body. You don't get hungry so often, so you don't turn to the junk food. So I definitely increased my protein. And I was, most of the time, I was trying very hard to lower my carb intake. And I did that, I did that a lot. Not every day, some days I just don't want to, I don't think I have enough numbers in the, the planet to count my carbs, but you know, that's how it is. Most of the time, I did the right thing and I will, over a long term, I am definitely lowering my carbs. Uh, the thing that's really helped me has been the Masashi supplements. Now, Masashi, it's not a, it's not a, um, see here goes the brain, I can't think already. It's not a meal replacement thing. Masashi is a sports supplement training kind of thing. And it's working for me. I like it for so many reasons 
and I see no reason to change it. The reason it's working for me is it is very high in protein, low fat, low carb, low calorie, and it tastes really good. And something I have been doing is I'll often just grab a, um, a, a protein shake for breakfast because it's quick, it's easy, and I don't have to think, because I'm usually pretty hungry when I wake up. I think most people are. I think that's sign of a healthy person if you're hungry when you wake up in the morning. And yeah, I just grab my masashi. It fills me up, but it doesn't kind of weigh me down, which means I can go out and go for my walk or do my exercise, whatever I wanted to do. So that's been working really well. And sometimes I've been having a protein shake or a, um, a bar, a protein bar of an evening because I've got a sweet tooth. I'm one of these people that grew up having dessert every night. And now as an adult, it's a habit that's just so so hard to break and I'm trying to get my brain to process that these Musashi shakes and bars are good for me but the thing is they taste so good and my brain thinks oh Karen you're having a, a nice chocolatey sugary sweetie treaty but really it's it's good for me so it's win-win, but I'm just, I'm at that point now where I've almost got my brain to understand that I'm not spoiling my, my diet and food intake with this. It's actually good for it. And the fact that it tastes so great is just a bonus. So that has been a big thing to overcome. And as for the calorie, calorie control in general, <coughs> excuse me, when I when I've been focusing on my food intake and counting calories, I've been doing really well. My goal was to stay between the 1,200-1,500 calorie range, preferably down towards a 1,200 count because I am trying to lose weight. And oh, easily distracted, easily distracted. My phone just beeped. Actually, I know what that will be. That will be the message that my Musashi has just arrived because I'm not home, obviously. And I got a message this morning that my delivery was going to be arriving today. So that's probably what that message is. Your delivery from Musashi is at your front door. Go and get it. So yay, that'll be fun. Um, yeah, so I've been keeping my calories really good when I try. The days I don't try, they're not fantastic. They're probably more than I should be having, but they're certainly better. And I'm trying and eating well more often than I'm not. So it's still progress and improvement. I didn't lose any weight over these last few weeks and I know the reasons why and the biggest reason why I haven't put any on I have to say I haven't lost any but I haven't put any on over the last three weeks so that's still a good thing and honestly the main reason I haven't lost any is because I've I've been sick I've been sick I've had vertigo which completely absolutely flattened me for a whole day and a night and then it took me till the third day after to recover before I felt to my healthy, normal self again. When I have felt okay, we've had bad weather. We've had so much rain. And if it's not raining, it has been just stupid hot. So I haven't been wanting to go out for a walk. And a few days ago, I found an old school like um, aerobics video on YouTube. And I did it and I really enjoyed it. So I'm going to start doing that more often instead of going out and walking. I do enjoy my walks. I love tootling around the neighbourhood and seeing what's going on and putting my headphones in. But it, with summer coming, it's just too hot. So aerobics videos, it's going to be. So I'm, I, I've focused on that. I have changed. I have adjusted what I can do with what's available. And that's a good thing. That's progress. I also haven't been doing my weights and plank routine and this this actually really bugs me because I stopped I didn't do it for a few days because I was so unwell and then not having it for those few days broke the routine and I simply forgot about it yeah that's it no excuse I forgot about it I did do a plank this morning and I'm aiming to do my weights when I go home this afternoon I I I'm still feeling a bit unwell. I'm still struggling with lightheadedness and that's why I didn't want to do the weights this morning because I did have an early appointment with the doctor to discuss my dizzy heads and he thinks it's a blood pressure problem so he's actually going to lower my blood pressure medication which is good because I don't like being on it anyway. High blood pressure is a, 
a new experience for me. I've never had it. It's only been in the last few months. Um, so we're sort of learning as we go. I also had to see a brand new doctor today that I haven't seen before because my last doctor, who I'd been seeing for about 14 years, decided to move and he's too far for me to go and visit. So I'm absolutely devastated and then I'm stressed to the max because I had to, I've now got to run in a new doctor. I mean, it's only the one thing worse than a new doctor and that's finding a new hairdresser. Oh, hate doing that as well. But that's, that's my excuse. I don't want to call it an excuse. And it's my, my reasoning for not doing my weights either because any time I do anything that causes any sort of pressure, um, obviously puts the blood pressure up and it sends me off dizzy and I don't feel well. So I'm hoping to get back. In, no, I'm not hoping. I will get back into that again very soon, very soon. So there we go. Look, even though as a challenge I kind of failed miserably, as a focus on certain points, I think it has been quite successful. I have adjusted the things that I wanted to adjust and I'm, I'm happy with my progress given the circumstances that I had to deal with. This 30 day challenge, it was never a 30 day focus, excuse me, was never about weight loss. It was never about quick results. It was always about building good habits and fitting them into your routine so that you no longer have to think about what you're doing. That reaching for the healthy food option over the junk food is just a natural instinct. Going for a walk becomes a natural daily pleasure, which it is for me anyway, so I didn't have to work hard for that one. But it's something that I wanted to get. I just needed a bit of a, a refresher course, for want of a better word, a refresher course just to, to reinstate it back into my life and get it get it going well again and as I said today is like I think day 26 so we're nearly at the end of the 30 day challenge so I don't think I will be doing any more videos on this topic for now but I do hope that maybe I've given you some some ideas on how you could do your own personal challenge or focus or whatever works for you it doesn't have to be 30 days you could do it just for seven days make notes record your food intake just to to kick start good habits or to just get you back on track if you've slipped a bit and I I do know that I have really motivated and inspired one lady in particular and I will put her link down in the description go and check jazz out Jazz is on a, a huge challenge. She's pre-diabetes, I think, so she's got um, a, a, a quite a bit of weight that she wants to lose. Jazz also loves challenges, which makes me think she's a bit of a psycho. <laughs> so she heard what I was doing. She thought, yeah, that really sounds like fun. So she's created her own little 30-day challenge. And she's on a special um, pre-diabetes program with the NHS so if any of that sounds like something that you know what it is you understand what it is or you're interested in check the description down and look for her link and go and watch her channel because she's she's a really nice lady and she's um she's yeah she's she's got a challenge on her hand and I would really love to give her the support that brings me to the end of my video the end of my 30-day challenge I'm going to go home have a coffee because I've only had one coffee so far today I'm definitely overdue for my second one I've been for the doctor's visit I've been for a walk I've made my video and I'm feeling like today has been an all-round successful day oh and my masashi has arrived <laughs> yes I might put some photos up and show you what I bought hey I'll put some links for that too so you can click on the web click on the link then you can go to their website and just read about the stuff that I'm using and see why I like it and maybe buy your own. Yeah. But that's me, that's me. I'm going home. Going home, need a coffee. I hope you've enjoyed my video. I hope you've enjoyed this series. And if I've inspired you, let me know and keep me informed of your progress. I'm really keen to see how you're going. I'll see you all again soon doing something different. Bye.